A Minneapolis businessman is looking to do things no other Hispanic entrepreneur has done in the city. WCCO's David Schumann introduces us to Daniel Hernandez, a jack of all trades determined to lift up his community. That's not normal. Daniel Hernandez has endured his share of hard times, vandalism and break-ins. It's really hard, man. Natural disaster in his native Mexico. My sister house is completely gone. Yet a smile is never far from Daniel's face. <laughs> his colonial market in Minneapolis, a Hispanic grocery and restaurant, has items you won't find in most other stores. The platanos, the being Dominican, that's one of our staples along with rice. I check other markets, but this, I know finding everything is for why I come in always here. One of the things that most people really are confused about Mexican candies is that why candies have to be spicy? 90% of the stuff that we sell come from other countries. That's what makes it so special. Authenticity is Daniel's goal for his food and for himself. He says that means giving back to Minneapolis, his adopted hometown after moving here as a teenager. While everybody's running away from Minneapolis, everybody's like scared of Minneapolis, we are actually, um, we're actually investing millions of dollars here in Minneapolis. Daniel's goal is a chain of groceries and he'll be opening his second colonial market this summer near Lake and Hiawatha, just blocks from some of the worst looting and damage of the 2020 riots. In Mexico, it's pretty popular to name little towns colonials. Usually colonials are inside of a big city. So I, when, I, when I was growing up, I, I live in a colonial. So that's why we call it Colonials. He also owns an accounting business, a marketing firm, and this breakfast restaurant, employing more than 80 people in all, which is a point of pride. And then there's the social media. His Danny in Minnesota accounts keep him connected with the community he loves. It's about anything and everything, and some things are really funny. Some things are really serious, but the good thing is Latinos are like that. All in a day's work. The first thing I think about is what am I going to do today and how can I improve the community that I live in? In Minneapolis, David Schumann, WCCO News.